the intervention if we decide to offer that to you as a family and of course it's your decision ultimately as to whether to go through with it um, involves uh, open fetal surgery so it involves uh, removing the CCAM from the baby's chest which means we have to get to the baby through the uterus so it's an operation like a cesarean section we expose the baby's chest remove the CCAM close up the chest and continue the pregnancy um, we have as much experience as anyone in the world in doing this procedure it was first done here at UCSF it is now done in a couple of other places around the world uh, but we have as much experience as anyone else and our survival uh, with that treatment is in the 60 percent range um, we believe that the survival is close to zero if we don't proceed so it is not perfect but it offers uh, uh, hope for babies with that very rare form of CCAM. The babies who survive in general do very well but there is a risk when the CCAM is so big that it has caused almost permanent damage to the lungs so there is a group who survived the surgery but still have significant lung disease. Uh, the majority of babies who survived the surgery do very well in, in the long term. The really wonderfully amazing thing about taking this big lump out of uh, a fetus's chest is, if you, is that the lung will fill the whole thing up again. And if you look within a week, the fetus is starting, this little bit of lung is starting to grow, and by the time the kid's born, it can look normal. You can have essentially a normal chest x-ray with a normal amount of lung on that side and on that side. And remember, we make new alveoli. You actually make new lung tissue until you're about eight years old. So you have lots of chance to grow up, to, to have perfectly normal lung function, even though you've had a big lump taken out.